Hey Desmond, thanks for joining us. Um, you, you've been in Jeff's shoes before. Uh, first round pick, a lot of pressure, had to start immediately. Uh, what was the best piece of advice you got when you were making that transition and and what can you tell him to, to help ease his transition to this level? Um, well, I think, you know, uh, just the first thing is just, you know, just get, getting comfortable, getting to, into your routine, you know, uh, figure out, you know, how you're going to study, um, how you're going to rehab, uh, you know, just just those everyday routines, you know, that all of us best have, you know, and, uh, and stick to it. You know, if something's working for you, you know, stick to it. And, uh, you know, at the corner position, it's a... Uh, um, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure on your shoulders, but I would just tell him, you know, you create your own pressure out there. You know, however you feel, however you react to every situation, you know, it's on you, good or bad. You know, just just stay even keel because you're not gonna make every play, but you know, you're gonna make a lot of plays as well too. So that's pretty much what I would tell him. How much more difficult do you think it is for a rookie in in this environment with the uh... Uh, COVID and the shortened off season, the lack of practice. How much, how much more difficult do you think that'll be for for him? Um, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a different environment, different time. You know, we didn't have you know the full off season program. You know, to get all the reps in. You know, to get the playbook. Uh, I mean, we still you know did things virtual, so you know we still got some of that, but it's still nothing like you know taking those reps. You know, physically. So, but. Um, you know, that that's why we're in our in this position. You know, we're built to to adapt and you know, we're built to, you know, for any circumstance, any situation, you know, we gotta just prevail through. So um it'll be all right, you know. We just gotta uh, just keep working. Dave. <clears throat> uh same line of questioning. Welcome to Detroit, uh, first of all. But same same line of questioning, just um for all cornerbacks, regardless of, of the the you know what's happening right now in the world and, and the, the lack of off season, what makes it so difficult to transition to the NFL playing that position? You're one of the rare exceptions that had success as a rookie. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just it's just a different game. You know, it's just faster. Um, everybody's bigger, stronger. Uh, you're dealing with grown men out there. You know, um, so. I know my first play, first preseason play, you know, I, I got welcomed to the NFL quick. So, I, and it's really no time to uh, to lack out there at corner, you know, because y'all know how it go. You the man one play, the next play, you know, they talking about you. So uh, you just gotta, you just gotta stay even killed, you know, and it's a marathon at the end of the day. I mean, <clears throat> this position at some point, somebody's gonna make a play on you, but how do you react to that? Are you gonna come back and make another play or are you gonna, you know, let it just continue to roll. So I think that's the biggest thing that you got to learn, you know, transitioning, you know, to this league. What was that welcome to the NFL play? What happened on that play? Um, it's kind of a little story. So we, uh, we was scrimmaging um, the Bengals in practice, you know, how teams used to practice against each other or whatever. And, uh, you know, we was talking a little bit. I was talking to um, – Gresham, Gresham was his name, the tight end. Uh, we, were talking, we were talking back and forth in practice. You know, I'm just a rookie, just, you know. And then uh, in the game, he caught a little, uh, he caught a little pass in the flat. And I came up to try to tackle him. And he pretty much just ran me over out of bounds or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He was just talking crazy. But I remember I was seeing colors. My bell was rung for sure. Like, so I knew, okay, like, I knew what time it was after that, so it was cool. And then last thing for me, just uh, Okuda, you've been with him for a couple weeks now. What, what have you seen from him, first impressions? Do you, is there anything that you see that, uh, you know, think may help him make that, that transition quickly? Um, I think, I mean, honestly, I think he has, you know, what it takes. I can just tell he's fundamentally sound. Um, you know, that's big, you know, uh, coming to this, uh, coming to the NFL from college, you know, just, you know, can you do your fundamentals every play, whether you're tired, whether no matter what the situation is, you know, can you continuously do that? And I think, you know, I can already tell, you know, he's a he's a technician, you know, and um, and he just works hard, too, you know, and he's always asking questions. And, uh, you know, I'm excited, you know, to play to play with him and uh, see see how this thing goes. Thank you. Uh, we'll go Larry.
Yeah, what do you say uh, to teammates or what is being said about, um, you know, making good choices when you're outside of the control of basically the Alliance facility and bubble to keep everyone safe? Um, well, you know, it's just you got to pretty much, you know, it's a family here. Everybody got their families that we're trying to protect, that we're doing this for. But, you know, at the same time, you know, you're – you know, what we do individually, you know, outside of the building affects, and that could potentially affect the next man's family, you know, so you got to just think of it, think of it like that, you know, but, you know, we've been doing a great job so far. Everybody's aware of the situation. It's definitely, you know, a crazy one, but, you know, that's what we, like I said earlier, that's what we built for. So, um, you know, we just got to keep pushing forward with it. How much is, is, of that is easier said than done, especially for a veteran versus if you could put yourself back in your 20, 21 year old shoes or other young players that you've seen come in the league? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, you're just more mature the older you get, obviously, you know, when you first come into the league, you know, everything's new. Uh, you know, you got money, fame, everybody asks you to do this, ABC, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a, it's definitely different, you know, when you're a younger player, but I think, you know, everybody at the same time respects, you know, what we're trying to accomplish as a team and where we're trying to go. And the only way we can do that is if we act responsible. So I think I think we'll be all right. Like you said, I mean, you never know because it's so unpredictable this uh, time right now, but we're just going to do our part. All right, we'll go to Ben Raven. Last question. Uh, I'll sneak two in here if that's all right. I appreciate your time. Just kind of coming off the unpredictable uh, unpredictability of everything going on. I just wondered, like, what were your thoughts on the opt outs? And we've heard from guys talking about uh, the Lions facility really kind of like opening their eyes, like, all right, maybe we can do this uh, safely. And just kind of wanted your perspective on that part one. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely, um, you know, it's just everything is just different. I mean, you had to just take in all the information because, you know, as we're getting the information, you see it on the media, you don't know what's true, what's what's not. So it's kind of kind of just had to sit back, evaluate everything, and then just move forward. I mean, but for me, I just, you know, I only got this opportunity once in my life. I only got this body, this speed, this quickness, you know, at a certain time frame of my life. So, you know, while I can, you know, I'm going to take advantage of it. So that's kind of just how I approach it. But obviously, you know, I just want to, I want my family to be safe. I want everybody else's family to be safe too. But, you know, I'm a ball player. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. And then the second one, if that's all right, just kind of now that you're in Allen Park, just kind of reflect on the virtual off season. Did it kind of exceed your expectations and just kind of how prepared everybody came into the building still, or just kind of your main takeaway that now that you guys are here in person? Um, it was cool to me. I mean, it's just, we just weren't in person. We were still able to go over all the details. We were still able to talk, uh, get to get to know one another. Um, obviously, you know, it's nothing like being in person, but it was still productive in my eyes. And I feel like, you know, we started off good. And, um, you know, I think we're headed in the right direction, but we just got to keep working and, um, you know, just keep pushing this thing forward. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks,